Now I was talking about the mobile weather lab and well it's not here this morning. Andy Parker is out live at the Niagara County Fair to tell us a little bit more about what's going on there. Hey, we are out here live this morning. We've made our way into the barns. Take a look at the cute face on this rabbit. So calm. Is, he, is she always this calm? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Just a couple minutes ago, she was bouncing around this morning. But uh, this is really neat. Four H'ers are up early. Rachel, you're with me. You've got a couple more over there. I do. I do. Um, we're going to talk to Ashton first. T tell me a little bit about raising these animals. I know the, the bunnies, there's guinea pigs here. This is all something you guys are really proud of. Yeah, well, we had the litter at our house, and Dominique was actually the run, and it was just a really cool experience. And what goes into raising these little guys? Well, it really depends on if you have them inside or outside, and you have to do a lot between their cages and grooming them and if you want to show them. Um, Ian over here is holding Buttercup. Ian, it, this is a long process, fair week. Can you tell me, just so everybody who comes here knows what you're going to do with these animals? Um, we're going to show them in different classes and things like that, and there's like breed classes and showmanship, and there's hopping demonstrations too. So. Did I hear you guys mention costumes earlier? Mm-hmm. Yep, costumes. Wow. Oh, keep going. Um, you can just dress them up in like different costumes and stuff, and that's kind of fun to do. Yeah. And dress them up. I'm sure it's really cute. And Lorna, back to you. I want to ask just about um, what goes into Fair Week. You guys put so much into the week itself. Yeah, it's very intense sometimes, and um, I know we work with the animals a lot over um, the weeks nearby Fair. And, um, well, we have to, well, you really want to, um, well, you have to breed bunnies, too, to okay. get the right size for the, um, for the bunny, and you have to get the right, um, size, and the, and. They're so adorable. Do you get them when they're little babies, when they're newborns? Well, um, well, you have to wean them from their mother first. Okay. So, and then you can u usually take them back to your barn if you're getting it from another barn. But you also can have um, the mother have the babies at your barn, and then you can just keep them. Andy, it's such a really adorable thing to see, all the little bunnies and the, the guinea pigs back there. They're up so early. Jennifer Greyer, marketing coordinator out here. Uh, real quick, couple things people should know about the barns. The barns are always open, rain or shine. It's a great place to come. And the 4-H kids and their leaders are here. And you, it's okay to ask the kids questions about all of their different animals. They're very knowledgeable. These 4-Hers work very hard all year. Yeah, that's why they got up early. Thank you so much. And you know what? We're headed to the next barn down. What are we going to see? We're going to see sheep. All right, that's next up. We're going to send it back inside to you, Laura.